Welcome to the Kane Area School District School Safety Drills Presentation. We are the Community Outreach Committee. Our purpose is to share information about safety drills and procedures in the Kane Area School District with parents, families, and the community. Feedback is always welcome. We will try our best to answer questions and provide needed information. Other committees in our district that address student safety are Professional Development for Student Safety, which prepares staff with necessary information and training to keep students and buildings secure and safe. Physical Safety and Procedures, which oversees policies and procedures in the buildings that are consistent and monitored regularly. Safety Drills the goal of all safety drills is to prepare students to respond in a calm manner in the event of an emergency. We talk to students about what sounds they will hear, how to listen for information, and how the adults will work to keep them safe. Parents and families can talk to students about why we practice drills and how the school staff is trained to help them in the event of an emergency. Many drills are conducted each year. On average, one drill per month is practiced. You may hear about these drills while they are occurring or after the fact. Please do not be concerned. Fire drills and evacuation drills. Fire drills are the most commonly practiced type of evacuation drill. We leave the building to practice what to do if there was a fire in the building. Other evacuation drills could take us to a safe location inside another building in our district. In the event of an actual evacuation, we may evacuate students to an out-of-town location depending on the type of threat, weather, chemical, etc. Severe Weather and Shelter-in-Place Drills Severe Weather Drills In our area, we practice shelter drills for tornado and severe storms. This is a type of shelter-in-place drill. Shelter-in-place drills. These are practiced and used when it is safer inside a building or room than it is outside, used for weather, medical emergencies, etc. Lockdown drills. In a lockdown drill, we practice how the building and grounds will be secured for high-level threats. Law enforcement may be involved with the drills as they would be on scene during an event that would create the need for an actual lockdown. Drills and Emergency Events We will be practicing a wide variety of drills this school year. Bus evacuation drills, fire drills, severe weather drills, building evacuation drills, federal emergency management agency drills, shelter in place or lockdown drills. What do we do in an actual emergency? We respond with what we have practiced. What do parents and families need to do? Keep students' inf information current. It is very important that the school has the most up-to-date information available to contact families in the event of an emergency. If or when the reunification of students to families is taking place after an actual emergency, only those people listed in the emergency contacts for each student will be permitted to have the student released to them. The reunification process after an event. Parents or guardians will be notified where to arrive to meet students. Please don't come to the school or the evacuation location until directed to do so. We will keep buildings as safe and secure as possible. Keep parking lots and traffic lanes clear. Keep phone lines open. When you arrive, remain calm and tell us what child you are picking up. Be prepared with valid ID so we can be sure we are releasing each student to a person who is on their emergency contact list. Wait to have the student brought to you. An organized environment will help to keep everyone safe and calm. Sign up for the Emergency Alert System. 
One Call Now is used for KASD emergency alerts as well as reminders for events in the Kane Area School District. You can sign up by visiting the KASD website at www.kane.new.rschooltoday.com. Click on the Information for a Parent tab, then select One Call Now Emergency Alert System from the quick links on the left. Click on the Self-Update Portal for One Call Now Emergency Alert System in the middle of the page and follow the directions to enter your email address to sign in or sign up for the system. We appreciate your time and attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the numbers listed below. Thank you.